Hello, every Earthling buddy. Well, this is part two in my series of the game Observation in full 4K resolution. So in the last episode, we realized that we're the AI computer on board a space station. And at the very end, we had to reset this whole system link. And now that we have reset that, we went through the reset procedure. Now we can slowly reconnect each individual system one at a time. And that's exactly where this part two picks up. Yeah, so we're slowly, we're slowly connecting ourselves to the rest of the ship now, or the station. Uh, kind of like maybe the laptop, right? Yeah, let's add the system link to the laptop. No, 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 no. The, what the hell is this? Three, two, four. Okay, three, two, four. What are these? Good. Looks like that's working. Add another. Uh huh. Okay, we're already connected to the laptop. Uh, let's add the combustion unit. I don't know. No, it doesn't let us add that. Uh, there's a spear modification bay. No. What else could we add? Um. Anything. Yeah, we already added the laptop. See the little spear here? You'll be able to take over these spears and then move around the station with um, uh, traditional movement controls later on, which I think is really cool. There's spear modification bait. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Fine. Combustion unit, we already figured out we can't do much there. Well, what the hell? What else is there? Damn it. Oh, what's this? Hatch control, aha. Zoomed in, there we go. We're gonna add the system link to the hatch control. Two, one, three. Okay, now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. How do I do that? Uh, well, I just opened hatch 10, but that's not what she wanted. Add the EAS-11, 11, 11, oh, there it is, right there. Yes, see? So, hatch 11, and then this is the hatch 11 system control. Here we go. Na 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 na. 244. I'm okay, just typing like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS 11 airlock. Okay. You see? That's you it. See? It's open. Hey. I'm out. Good work, Sam. So, you see what we're doing? We're allowing okay. them to... <laughs> we're essentially the computer. Th that's a security computer, an airlock Josh? management system. I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Hmm. I'd say a B plus for a character modeling. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? <laughs> Anyone? Oh shit, no one's answering. What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Mm-hmm. Yes, we... Didn't we already know that? Where's everyone gone? Oh, shit. My personal locator system is offline. That's why. Right, Sam. You should have access to your OS now. Well, I should hope so. Okay, enter the SAM OS systems at any time by pressing the spacebar. You can now relocate to any module oh, and view its camera feeds. That. In the EAS arm, at least. Whoa! Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Take a look at this. There's a uh, uh, Russian Chinese modules. What is that? Whoa! And this should be, yeah, European and American space agency arm. And then the Universal, which is the shared structural ring. Russian space agency arm, the Chinese space agency arm. Wow. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so we can um, 
Actually, we can try going to number eight, which is called Hope, I guess. Okay. Oh. Now, I actually forgot what she said already. So we go into the O. We, you know, we had to find the fire. So there's some kind of fire happening somewhere. Okay, so it's not an eight. We would see it. So this is module eight. Now let's go back out to module six. So it's not in here. Okay, not here. Module five. Uh, no fire here. Ooh, what's this? Arm something. Arm training system. And then the helix system, which is three, so there's no fire here. Let me guess, it's the last one. Yeah. There it is. There's, I hear the, there it is down there. We found it. There, see, so, la la la, na na na. Let's report the fire. There is there. a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way. She says shit a lot. It's not shit, it's fire. Okay, so she is on her way, so we just have to wait a moment, I guess. I hope that's what we're doing. We're waiting for her, right? Let's see if there's, yeah, there's another. There's actually another camera here. So this, we're in number module four, and she has to go through three. So she's actually, oh, there she is right now. She's in number eight. Okay, that makes sense. Whoops. There we go. Come on, hurry up. And in a few moments, we'll find out that she's closer, hopefully. Yep, see, now she's in number six. She's coming. Sam? Yes? The hatch in EAS-6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? Oh, yep, okay. So she's in six. We need to open the hatch to number five. Okay. Oh, there she is right there. And the airlock would be right about here. Yeah, so we have to add the system link first, and then after we do that, then we can open it up. Yeah, it's, it's pretty intuitive. It's a little confusing. If you're not used to these kind of games, it takes a little while. What is the schematic? I don't know what that is, but let's open the hatch up. There it's open. Go. I'm on my way. Whoa. Okay, I'm back to... Relocate to EAS-3. I'll need your help when I get there. Okay, okay. I did. I relocated. There she is. And she needs to get into number four to put out the fire. So she's going to probably grab a uh, fire extinguisher, right? Yep. Man, this place is messy. If it wasn't such a mess, things wouldn't catch fire the like EAS this. Full hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Okay. We have to go back to four, and I have to add the control somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Should have done that to begin with. There it is right there. But we're not going to open it up yet. One, four, two. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. Oh, on three. I see. Okay. Are you ready? On three? Yes. Uh, no, no. I'm One, not. Two. Three. That's it. Come oh. on. <laughs> oh, she's putting out the fire now. It wasn't giving me the option to open it up. I thought it was going to be. I was going to blow the whole station up. Sam! <coughs> Get the vents on in here. What? Oh shit! Uh, she needs. Okay, so she needs a, a vent. There. Objectives updated. So let's hold it on. So now we have to vent the fumes in EIS04. Okay, fine. So now we have to go back to 4 and we have to find the ventilation system. It's the environment sensor, which I can't. Oh, extractor vents, that's it. There, see, so what we're doing, we're adding the ability to be able to manipulate these. And now it's linked, so now we can turn them on. 
Ta-da! La 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 la. <laughs> That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. In here, but this place is a disaster zone. How bad is it? Oh, pretty bad. No, we had to report the damage in EIS support. Okay, uh, well, there's rack damage. Let's report that. Oh. The yeah, rack respect. units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. Well, what else is busted? Um, medical storage is busted. Up. It. What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Oh, the source, okay. Uh, the source could have been... So, you have to actually... Yeah, this isn't immediately obvious, so you kind of have to look around for clues, like what caused the fire? Aha! Could be... This could be it. LFB1 panel. Uh, oh yeah. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? So a fire a port plant. panel could have caused a fire. That's obvious. That's weird. Oh, oh no, she could have just come in and looked at it herself. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Oh shit. Or oil. Dark red. Oh no, it's alien goo. Well, there was maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Uh -oh. oh, come on. What now? Why would she brush it off on her own space suit? That doesn't mean that doesn't make any sense. Uh-oh, severe stress warning in EAS 12. That's the one whose uh uh hull connections weren't secure. See? Oh, hold for There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate oh, separation shit. recommended. So we're gonna have to detach EIS-12. I just don't know how to do Please. that yet. If there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, my grandmother. We are about to jettison the module. Grand Someone OS. Please respond. Oh, we are gonna jettison 12, okay. This is getting much worse. I don't worse. know how to do that, but... <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, let's do First. it. Process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Okay. Uh huh. One Go. four four two four one, one three three. Oh two, no four. no! It's not the numbers. I have. Shit. Sam, Say it again. Okay. W A S D. One four four two four one three three two four. Oh God! I hope that was right. There, now the callback code is 2903419, so to hold that down and Two, give it back nine, to her. Zero, three, four, one, nine. Please be right. Now. Hurry, Sam. Target oh, the jets here we go. and push the module away safely. How do I do that? Press to begin detachment seek. Okay, I don't know how to do this, but okay, so it says WASD to select the clamp and then Left mouse button to activate. Okay. There. Oh, I see. Okay, that's not too hard. Um, how do you do... Oh, okay. So it's... You have to use both of the controls. Okay. So I actually have to use all four buttons. Like, I had to use the W and D button together. Sam. We've stopped spinning. We detached it. We've stabilized. I think... Well, I hope so. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Ah. Uh, what's left of it? So now we'll gain access to external cameras. We're not in, uh, we don't have the ability to take over those mobile cameras yet, or those mobile the drones, but weak, we'll get there very distorted. soon. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? And perfect place to end part two. We'll help Fisher find the damage to the station in part three. All right. So if you like this, please click the like button. Uh, 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, please, and maybe turn the notifications on. And share this with your friends, too. Or share it out on social media if you really like this. Alright, we'll see you next time in Observation. Thanks for watching.